First, to an incredibly tense Burundi. After weeks of protest against the president's controversial bid for a third term, soldiers have surrounded the state broadcaster. And a general has announced on private radio that Pierre Nkurunziza has been dismissed. Now, the president was due to attend a summit of East African leaders in Tanzania today. With the latest from Bujumbura, here's our correspondent, Duncan Woodside. I can confirm that at the very least a coup attempt is now underway in Burundi. We had an announcement a short while ago by Major General Godfried Niambore. He's the ex-intelligence chief who was fired some time ago by Burundi's president, Pierre Kurenziza. And what he's announced is that the government and the president have been dismissed for defying the constitution. That's in a context, of course, where the president has launched a bid for a third term in office, which many people see as unconstitutional. However, that situation, this apparent uh, grab of power by the military, is something that's being contested by the presidency itself. I spoke a short time ago to the president's chief counsellor, and he described this announcement as a joke. So it seems for now that uh, the president, Pierre Carinziza, intends to try to cling on to power. The question then becomes, how broad-based is this coup attempt? Now, this uh, general, this major general who has seized power, he's a Hutu. That's very important because it suggests that there is a broad-based move within the military against the president, between Tutsi officers and senior Hutu officers, or ex-officer in this case. So going forward, it, it may well be that the writing on the wall is now in place for President Kurenziza. And the next few days will obviously give us much more clarity in that respect, but things will remain very volatile for the time being. Duncan, where is the president? Well, we were told this morning by the president's advisor, chief advisor, that uh, he was traveling as planned to uh, Tanzania, where a heads of state summit was uh, due to take place between the presidents of the East African community. Now, that now apparently has been postponed. We have no direct confirmation as to the president's whereabouts, but it appears that he may be out of the country and that these officers may have taken that opportunity to move against him. And, Duncan, we're getting reports of people celebrating the news as rumours spread then of, of this uh, attempted uh, coup. Uh, what's the latest on uh, the protest? Um, I understand that more protesters were killed today. I can't confirm whether more protesters have been killed. I've certainly not seen that myself. I haven't been on the streets for just over an hour, but I was in the centre of town before. There were a couple of hundred people gathered there. Uh, subsequently, um, we've seen a big movement, I understand from a credible international source, a big movement of people from Musaga, which is one of the key protest areas, into town, thousands of people coming in from there. That's according to one international source that I spoke to a short while, a while ago. And crucially, those people were accompanied, it seems, by soldiers. Also, people coming in from Nyakabiga, which is by the university. That's another key protest area. And what I'm being told is that there are now thousands of people gathered in the city centre. Duncan, could you tell us a little bit more about this general, the one who's made the announcement then that he's now going to work on, on forming a transitional government? Well, what I know is that he was the former intelligence chief of President Pierre Carinziza. He had been fired. Uh, that was in a context where he opposed the bid for a new mandate by the president. Um, beyond that, I can say that he's a Hutu. That's quite important uh, in a context, where, of course, where the president is also a Hutu. So this can't really be described as a Tutsi-led coup, if that's uh, what's going on, if it is indeed a coup that's taken place. The, the next few hours, the next few days will tell us exactly what's going on, whether this is broad-based or not, or whether this is, in fact, the beginning of the disintegration of the um, security forces. Because, obviously, if there are significant elements still on the side of the president, then we will have to brace ourselves for potentially a civil war. That, though, appears unlikely. The initial indications are that this is quite a broad-based move against the president. But it's so volatile, we, we, we can't make any, any conclusions at this point.